craziest stories in boxing uh, this year. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. has been temporary, temporarily suspended by the Nevada State Athletic Commission uh, over ducking and dodging a lot of drug testers, man, who came to collect a uh, specimen from him. Let's talk about the story. We back. Goodfellas Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Appreciate everybody showing the love, man. Just keep sharing. It's the best way to help the channel out. And um, Mike Coppinger broke the story. Uh, the screenshot will come up uh, soon. Him and Danny Jacobs was going to fight December 20th, um, a day before Tony Harrison and uh, Jamil Charlo rematch. That was going. That's going to be in Ontario, California, by the way. But um, it may be in jeopardy now because Chavez, uh, you know, intentionally was ducking and dodging Craig and Daddy. You both ducking and dodging me for the longest. <laughs> Rise in peace, pops. I've been doing them all all week since he passed. So. But um, Carpenter says, a.k.a. according to sources, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. temporarily suspended by Nevada Commission after evading Vada collectors at his Studio City home last week. He declined drug tests and faces a hearing with the commission on November 20th. With The fight with Daniel Jacobs is slated for December 20th in Vegas in Jeopardy. Uh, slated for December 20th in Vegas in Jeopardy. So, um... At the end of the day, man, he trained with Freddie Roach. This ain't the first Freddie Roach fighter that pop hot, you know. And I'm just gonna say he, you know, he was gonna, you know, allegedly he was gonna pop hot. Um, you had a few fighters over there that tested positive, and that's who he's training with right now. And at the end of the day, he was trying to uh, juice up for the Danny Jacobs fight. It's good they have a lot of drug testing in for the fight. Then you know Chavez just would have took him beating for a couple more rounds, but it didn't matter. Danny Jacobs wanted his tune up and um he went up this fight was going to happen at one sixty eight. Then he said after this fight he would think about entertaining fighting Jamal Charlo and coming back down to one sixty. But this is what Danny Jacobs get. All right. We're trying to cherry pick and, and trying to get a, a tune up. You know, after that pathetic performance he put on versus uh Canelo Alvarez and not even trying to try to win the fight. After saying all those years he was gonna knock Canelo out and then bowing down and refusing to bring up Canelo's positive drug test in the whole situation. And, you know, it is what it is. So, Danny Jacobs getting what he want. He never wanted to fight Jamal Charlo neither. All right? He didn't. And if you listen to that little encounter, you know, Charlo said, you drop your opponent, I drop my opponent. Oh, no, I'm touching him. It's like, this is what he get, man. And more fighters that's that's ducking out here, man, they deserve the same treatment. I'm happy that this, nobody cared about this fight. Nobody, what nobody looking forward to this? You know, uh, like Will said on uh on on Twitter, man, Gabriel Rosado can step in. It don't even matter to me, dude. I I didn't care if this fight happened ever or never. All right. <laughs> so, but we we'll talk about the story. Julio Cesar Chavez. You know, obviously he he dirty. You know what I'm saying? If you ducking the testers now, people was getting on the Charlo twins because you know they forgot they forgot to tell Vada they was going to L. A. To do the promo for their fight in December. Remember, they had the core Bob and Harrison double, double hitter on Fox, and they forgot to tell Vada. Keep that same energy, you uh, Mexican fans, for uh, Chavez, and keep that for, that y'all have for Charlo. And then Joseph Parker did the same thing. He missed a drug test as well, too, and they swept that under the rug. But had that been a black American fighter or black fighter, even from the UK, they'd have put them on blast, you know what I'm saying? But you know, obviously he's dirty. He's another Freddie Freddie Rose fighter that's out here dirty. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you refuse to take a drug test. Like, dude, you knew Vada was coming. And what he was trying to flush it out of his system or whatever the situation may be. You know, now he's going to have a hearing. And now it's even worse. So it didn't matter if he popped out or not. Nobody's looking for this, looking forward to this. But it's another dirty fighter. It's another fighter that, that was trying to evade the drug testers. He, he had to tell him where he was going to be at. And then... He must have had something in his system and didn't flush it out. Or, or they tested him themselves and said it's still in the system. So I wonder what his excuse is going to be. He should be he should be banned. He should be banned forever after this one. You know, if, especially if they test him in his system, it should be a lifetime ban. But, you know, now Danny Jacobs got to find another opponent. But it didn't matter for Danny Jacobs. He still got a $4 million minimum, four, $4 million minimum guarantee from the zone. So if it's Gabriel Rosado, Chavez, and Martian, Marvin and Martian, it don't really matter to him. But he got two more fights with the zone. He probably still fight December 20th. 
Rosado, somebody like that. Nobody was watching these fights. So the zone saved a couple dollars. They can play a lesser opponent and get the same uh, subscribers and get the same viewership. So, you know, it is what it is, man. And and for Chavez, man, continue to put stains on your family name, on your dad name. You a pathetic son. I know every day he he looking and be like, damn, why can Canelo be my son? He'll probably take Jaime Maguire over sorry ass Chavez. Man, he just pathetic, man. He needs to be banned from the sport forever. Hey, but it is what it is. Let me know what y'all guys think about the story. Don't forget, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video requests. Keep sharing the video. videos. Videos want to make a donation. That link's description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. And uh, crazy, man. But hey, don't forget, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Once again, email all those links in the description. If you want to holler at me, video requests, hit me up at a, uh, email or Twitter. One time for the one time. Goodfellas Sports TV. That's on curse. We gone.